So for my second quarter AP Euro project, I decided to write and draw a picture book slash children's book about John Locke, a 17th century English philosopher. This book talks a little bit about his personal life and it also elaborates some of his most famous works regarding his ideas and theories on things such as the government, religious toleration, education, and much more. I hope you guys enjoy. John Locke, written by Chelsea Wang and illustrated by Mei Ling Fan and Chelsea Wang. Before I start, I would like to thank Mr. Wilson, my AP European history teacher, for introducing me to John Locke and for assigning this project. Also, thank you for looking over my rough draft and helping me correct it. I would also like to thank my illustrator, Mailing Fan, for allowing me to force her to draw a majority of my pictures in this project. A picture book without good pictures is just not a good picture book. John Locke was an influential English philosopher and physician. He is often considered one of the greatest thinkers in history. He wrote many significant works of art that portrayed his ideas and theories about politics, education, religion, and much more. John Locke was born in Rington, a small village in England, on August 29, 1632. He only had one younger brother, Thomas Locke, and his mother died early on in John's childhood so his father single-handedly took care of John Locke and his brother. His father, amusingly also named John Locke, was a legal clerk. John Locke's father served in the Parliamentary Forces, the lawmaking group in the government during the English Civil War, which was a war between Parliament's supporters and the King's supporters. His family was wealthy, but they were not of especially high social or economic status. John Locke spent his childhood in the West Country, also known as the area of southwestern England. Once he was a teenager, he was sent to the Westminster School in London. He was a very diligent and successful student, so he was later on admitted to Christ Church, Oxford. In Oxford, Locke spent a majority of his time and effort devoted to the study of medicine and natural philosophy what we now call science. He was also trained to become a physician, a person who practices medicine. Afterwards, John Locke left Oxford and he went to London where he met Lord Ashley, later known as the Earl of Shaftesbury. He became attached to the family and played many roles in the household, such as tutoring Ashley's son or being Ashley's personal physician. Lord Ashley was a very important English politician at the time, and through his assistance, John Locke was able to hold many different governmental posts. During this period, Locke began a project that later on became one of his most famous works, the essay concerning human understanding. Lord Ashley strongly influenced many of Locke's political thoughts about Parliament supremacy and gave him a view on rule and government that guided Locke's opinions and ideas. John Locke wrote many famous documents. One particular work of his is A Letter Concerning Toleration. In this letter, he addressed religious toleration, which is the government allowing people to practice their religions. However, he did not support toleration for two specific religions. Roman Catholicism and Atheism. He is also a supporter of the separation of the church and the state, and he believes that religion and government should be completely separate. In other words, John Locke is saying that the government should not control the church and should give the people the freedom to practice their religion. Another one of John Locke's famous documents is his two treatises on government. In this writing, he defended the representative government, a system where the people are represented by elected representatives. 
Locke stated that man is born free in nature. He said that if the government does not protect the natural rights of life, liberty, and property, it becomes a tyranny, a cruel government. When this happens, Locke believes that the people have the right to rebel against the government and to remove it. Actually, many of John Locke's ideas were incorporated into Thomas Jefferson's writing of the United States Declaration of Independence. Locke's two treatises on government inspired the making of one of the most important documents in the United States. One important piece of work Locke wrote was his essay concerning human understanding. It talked about his theory about how human beings learn and form their ideas about the outside world through experience. John Locke argued that when a human is born, their mind is a blank or empty tablet. This was the basis of Locke's idea of tabula rasa, or blank slate. He believes that a human's idea is created by the environments and the experiences they face from their surrounding world. In other words, he is saying that the things you are sensing around the world is what shapes your mind and ideas. He does not think human beings are automatically born with knowledge. Instead, knowledge is obtained through observation and experience. John Locke also wrote a letter addressing his advice on how to bring up a child. Some thoughts concerning education gave advice on how to raise and educate children. During his time period in the 1600s, kids were taught languages through memorization and punishment, and Locke was extremely opposed to that idea. His opinion stated that the goal of education is to create a virtuous man or a righteous man, and he emphasized the importance of teaching practical knowledge. He believed the goal of education is to create a human being who obeys reason instead of passion. Children should also be able to love learning and have the ability to pursue their interests instead of being harshly forced to learn anything. John Locke was able to write many documents and letters before he died, and he was never married and he never had a family through his lifetime. Throughout his adult life, he suffered from health problems, especially respiratory diseases because of the poor air quality in London whenever he visited. Locke died at the age of 72 on December 28, 1704. He was buried in the churchyard in a village called High Labor, Essex. The end. And I was able to write this book thanks to these websites. About the author. Chelsea Wang is currently a sophomore in Grafton High School. In her free time, she likes to procrastinate, eat, and sleep. This is her very first book she's ever written, and she has never won a writing award before. Hopefully, this book can get on the New York Times bestseller list. Fingers crossed. About the illustrator. Mei Ling Fan is also a sophomore at Grafton High School. She was casually minding her own life when Chelsea Wang persuaded her to help draw this book. In her free time, she likes to play basketball, go online shopping, and spam Chelsea Wang's phone. <laughs> I decided to write about these specific documents of his because they talk about his viewpoints on general categories such as government and religion. For example, his A Letter Concerning Toleration expresses his views on religion and the idea that everyone should have the freedom to follow whichever religion they want to. Also, his governmental viewpoints were said in his two treatises on government, and he supported the supremacy of the representative government and the ability for the people to be represented by elected representatives. 
In Locke's essay concerning human understanding, it talked about the famous idea of tabula rasa, which also means blank tablet. In other words, it's the idea that human beings are all born with a blank slate and that ideas are formed from experiences. Last but not least, Locke's idea on education was expressed through his Some Thoughts Concerning Education. Children were taught with punishments, and Locke believed that children should love learning and that the goal of education was to create a righteous man. I chose these specific documents to put in this book because they explain his beliefs on some main topics of discussion.